Hello and welcome to another episode of Living in Tucson, your Tucson Real Estate Connection. And it's that time of the month. The numbers are out for the Tucson Housing Market Report for September 2024. So whether you're a buyer or a seller or somebody just interested in the Tucson housing market, this video's for you. Hello, my name is Tyler Ford, Tucson, Arizona with eXp Realty. And the good news is home values are holding strong for sellers and homeowners. For all those buyers out there wanting this market to pull back, the market is definitely slowing down. There's more options for buyers. Home inventory levels are ticking up slightly. But the good news for homeowners and sellers out there is home values are holding holding, even though we've had a slight pullback. The month of September, uh, home values did not go down. So I'm going to cover the numbers in terms of what's going on here in the Tucson housing market. First thing I like to cover is what's going on with mortgage rates. And uh, the first thing I want to cover is what we call the mortgage application index. And it's a leading indicator, and it's basically an index that shows how many people are applying for a mortgage, which is the first thing people usually do before they go out and buy a home. So it's a leading indicator to see how much demand is out there getting ready to buy. And right now, the mortgage application index, in terms of the people that applied for a mortgage, is nearly at an all-time low definitely a low in the past 30 years. So what that means is there's not a lot of buyer demand. And something that I'm gonna talk about later in this video is the amount, the unit sales, the number of homes that are sold each and every month is way down. So this leading indicator shows you that there's not a lot of buyer demand out there right now. But the good news is, which I'm gonna cover, is home values are holding strong. So right now on a 30 year fixed, we're looking at 6.12%. And on a 15 year fixed, we're looking at 5.25%. So the good news is rates have been going down, but they're not low enough, in my opinion yet, to bring people back into the market. But I think one of the things that's holding people up right now is the election. And there's a lot of people sitting on the sidelines right now, just waiting to see what goes on with the election and what the administration's gonna look like before they get back into the housing market. So we've got a lot of people just sitting and waiting. And I think once we get through the election, there's gonna be a lot of pent up demand and buyers uh, fleeting back into the market potentially as interest rates head even lower. The first number I wanna cover is what we call percentage of list. And that is when somebody lists a home in the MLS, what percentage of the list price is a seller getting? And uh, just a side note, it does not take into consideration price reductions. It's based on the final list price. And I'm gonna cover price reductions later in this video, which is a really important number. Uh, but for September 2024, the percentage of lists that sellers were getting was 98.36%. So if a seller prices their home correctly, they can anticipate that they're gonna get pretty close to the list price. The next number we're gonna look at is days on market or DOM for short. And this is a really valuable number, whether you're a buyer or a seller. If you're a seller out there and your home's on the market and you're starting to exceed the days on market, it could potentially mean that your home is overpriced. So if you're a seller out there and your home is on the market, I like to frequently look at the comps and you really only want to go 60 to 90 days back because this market has definitely changed and shifted. So if you're starting to exceed days on market, it could potentially mean that your home's overpriced. And if you're a buyer out there getting ready to make an offer, pull the comps and look at average days on market. And if the home that you're looking at, again, is starting to exceed days on market, it could potentially mean that the home is overpriced. So the days on market, we've got the median and the average. The median takes out the highs and the lows, and then the average is everything. So somewhere in between is uh, what the days on market is right now. So for September 2024, the median days on market was 27. 
and the average days on market is 42. So it's a really good number to look at, whether you're a buyer or a seller, and it can provide some valuable information. Now, the big question that everybody asks, what are home values doing here in Tucson, Arizona? Well, month over month, the single family median home sales price went up by about 10,000 and year over year, we're up as well, even though we're off of the highs, which was April of 2024. So we've seen a slight pullback from the highs of April of 2024. But again, the good news here is home values are holding and again, it has everything to do with inventory levels still being relatively low and the market is holding. Right now for single family homes listed in the MLS for September, 2024, the median home sales price was $375,340, up year over year 4.3% and up month over month about $10,000. For townhomes and condos, the median home sales price was 255,000 up year over year 2%. So this market is definitely going sideways and uh, year over year we're pretty much flat. But again, the good news out there for home owners and sellers out there is home values are holding. Now let's dive into average dollar per square foot. And this is a really, really uh, valuable number for both buyers and sellers out there. So if you're a seller out there, uh, typically before you list a home, you look at the comps, you run a CMA, and uh, I encourage you only to go 60 to 90 days back because uh, the market has shifted since the highs of April. And if you go any further back than that, the number's not as useful. So you want to pull comps and look at average dollar per square foot. And then you take the square footage of your home, multiply it by the average dollar per square foot, and it gives you a pretty good idea in terms of what your home is going to sell for. And it's also really important when you pull comps, you want to pull similar square footage, two car, three car garage, make it similar, pool, no pool. So you can really drill down and get real specific to get the average dollar per square foot. And if you're a buyer out there, uh, when pulling comps before writing an offer, again, you want to get real specific in the CMA and the comps that you pull in order to get, it'll have the average dollar per square foot of active, pending, and sold. Again, you want to look at the sold average dollar per square foot. And again, I would only go probably 60 to 90 days back at most. Uh, if they're giving you comps that are any further than that, they're not accurate. So right now in the MLS, the average dollar per square foot was $238 per square foot. So again, you just take the average dollar per square foot, multiply it times the square footage, and you're gonna get a good estimate of the potential of what the home is worth. The next number I'm gonna cover is my favorite number, and that is home inventory economics 101 supply and demand. It's a number that I look at every day and it's a leading indicator in my opinion as to what's going to go on with home prices and when COVID hit we had demand go up supply go down which drove home prices up and uh, just to put it all into perspective back in 07 and 08 when the market melted down we had well over 10,000 active listings in the MLS uh, so we had a ton of supply hit the market, we had demand drop, and then as a result, home values went down. So the good news in this market is, although home values have gone up, they're not up significantly enough to have a dramatic impact on home prices, even though the market has slowed down, has softened, and inventory levels have gone up, which is good for buyers because there's a lot more homes to choose from. So right now in the MLS for all properties for September 2024, there's a total of 2,433 active listings in the MLS. And to break it down, uh, there's 1,908 single family homes, there's 202 townhomes, 185 condos, uh, we've got 105 manufactured homes, and then 33 mobile homes to break it all down. Uh, so again, it's a number to take a look at. I get this question all the time. I know there's a lot of buyers out there and people sitting on the sidelines wanting this market to pull back. And the good news is we've got a little bit of relief. The market has pulled back. Home inventory levels have gone up, but in order to see a significant pullback in home prices, 
I think that home inventory would more than need to double in order to see a significant change uh, in home values. The next number to cover is what we call price drops. In the first uh, section that I touched on was percentage of list. And uh, it's a little deceptive because percentage of list does not take into consideration price reductions. But it's good to know the statistics in terms of price reductions. And it's really helpful, especially if you're a buyer out there. So right now, sitting on the market in the MLS, 43% uh, 40 of all listings have done a price reduction for a total of 6.7%. And the median days before they do a price reduction is 17 days. So if you're getting ready to not write an offer and the home has been on the market for less than 17 days, you might want to make an offer uh, that's maybe 6 to 10% less than the list price because it says that uh, almost 50% of all listings after 17 days are going to do a price reduction for 6.7%. And for homes sold for September 2024, 39% did a price reduction for a total of 6.1%. So good information to know. And if you're a seller out there and your home's been sitting and it's been sitting uh, for longer than the days on market, you can take a look at the percentage of price reductions will get you a pretty good idea in terms of uh, what the competition is doing in terms of price drops in the MLS. This next number to cover is what we call number of sales. And this is the number out of everything that I've covered, the one that really jumps out, it's the most glaring, and it's the one that's off by the most. And uh, transactionally, we are way, way down. And it goes back to mortgage applications. There's uh, less people applying for a mortgage, so there's less buyer demand. And as a result, there's uh, less transactions happening right now. So uh, for September 2024, there were a, only a total of 596 closed transactions down year over year 15.6 percent uh, so again this market is slowed in terms of buyer demand and there's just a lot less buyer demand and people sitting on the sidelines uh, in my opinion waiting for interest rates to go down waiting for the election uh, there's buyers thinking that this market's going to pull back so uh, again there's just a lot of people sitting on the sidelines and as a result the sales the number of transactions are significantly down well that's a wrap for my tucson housing market report for september 2024 but again the glaring number is unit sales right now there's not a lot of buyer demand in my opinion people are sitting on the sidelines waiting for the election and the results and the administration, depending on what side of the fence they're on, whether they're on the left or the right, and how they're gonna perceive uh, the election and the administration. And then also, uh, the feds are saying that they're gonna continue to lower rates. So again, we got a lot of pent up demand, people sitting on the sidelines, and I think once we get through the election, things will start to pick up. And I remember uh, four years ago in the last election, I had a couple of listings that were starting to sit, and it was right around this time during the election, we ended up pulling the homes off the market and then relisted right after the election, and uh, they were under contract within the first couple of weeks. So if you're a seller out there and your home's been sitting and you're not getting a lot of showings, I would just say patiently wait, or you could potentially take the home off the market uh, give it a little breather and then relist uh, after the election. So uh, time will tell. Uh, but again, that's what's going on here in the Tucson housing market. The good news is for home uh, owners and sellers out there, home values are holding. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And at the end of this video, right over here, YouTube's going to serve up another video that you might like. And if you got value out of this video, do me a huge favor. Give me an internet high five by liking it. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment below. And for more awesome videos in regards to the Tucson real estate uh, market and just things going on in Tucson, you, you can subscribe to the channel. If you hit that bell button each and every time a video comes out, you're going to be notified. In the meantime, make it a great day.